OMG, look at this pile. This is a huge, giant pile. All these sacks are completely full. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get into the haul. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller. A thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is the haul, the big, big haul from the Watch Here Flea Market. Now, everything is packed up in bags and boxes. My stuff and my mom's is all mixed together. So instead of going through it all and separating it out, I figured why not do less work and just unbag it with you guys. So <clears throat> we're going to get into the haul right now. So this is everything me and my mom got um, at the flea market. So I will tell you what's mine and what's mom's. Mom is a collector, as you know. Um, so most of the things she will be keeping for herself. Um, but I, most everything that I got is going to be for sale. There's a few things I got for myself to keep, but most everything I got to resale. So this was one of the things I found. Absolutely love it. Um, the handles are wood. They're not bake light. And my mom is going to take this and shine up the handles and make them look nice and pretty again. So it is a West Bend. Oh, there's stuff inside. There's stuff everywhere. I'm like a kid in a candy store or a kid at Christmas time. I forgot I got this and put it in there. It's a vintage Santa with the reindeer. I don't know if he's marked anywhere. I can't tell, but he's the vintage plastic. And one of their little reindeers, or one of their little antlers, is in there as well, so I can reattach that. But it's my cute and kitschy vintage plastic, so I picked up that. And then, yes, this is West Bend, I'm pretty sure. Yep, West Bend is Mark the Penguin. So, really fun, fun, kitschy. I love kitsch. That is my style. And then I picked up this guy. Now, he is so cute. <clears throat> you guys know that I absolutely love, love, love my rubber face plushies. Um, he still has his original tag. His head's a little floppy. Um, but he still has his original tag. He is a Knickerbocker Huckleberry Hound. I don't have this one in my collection, but he is too big for my couch. He's really too big, so he's going to be up for sale probably um, in one of my upcoming live sales. I know he's a rubber face. He's absolutely amazing, but I want to share my fun with other people, so he will be for sale. Uh, okay, now getting into some of the bags. Now, everything is still wrapped up, so I apologize about the noise. Okay, I need to start making piles, too, because some stuff is mine and some stuff is mom's. There's a lot of breakables, too. I gotta be careful with those as well. Okay, so this I picked up. Absolutely love it. Vintage um, leather tool purse. Very, very nice condition. Absolutely love it. I love the design. And even the clasp right here is really nice. Open it up and it's really nice leather. Really nice condition. And it has a zipper and everything. So 
I love the hand tooled leather bags. And then at the same vendor, I also picked up this vintage Whiting and Davis chain, um, little, um, what do you call them? A little clutch or whatever, little handbag. And, and it is marked on the inside. Oh, right there, Whiting and Davis. So that is a good find. I was excited to find that. Then this must have been one of the things my mom picked up. This must have been, she must have picked up this. And she, I think she picked up these. That little box. Little bags of stuff everywhere. These are her brooches. She picked up some Christmas pins, and I want to be careful I don't get poked because see some of them aren't closed. Okay, so there's this one. So pretty. This one. And then I think there's one more in there. That one. They're all Christmas trees. So I thought those were pretty. She found some pretty Christmas trees. So those are mom's. And one of the ladies wrapped things in fabric. I think that's so nice. And then these must be mom's. I wonder if she got these out of the dollar boxes. Maybe mom wrapped those herself. I don't know. Seriously like a kid at Christmas time. Oh, this is mom's. I remember she got that. Cute little bird. And then I got this. Oh, he's a, I don't think he's one of the rakes. It's FTD collector series. He still has his tag. His He is an older one. He's a wood face bear and he's got wood on his little feet and his arms and his legs all move. How stinking cute. Oh, his little vest is coming off, buddy. There we go. But his arms and his legs all move. He's so cute. So I picked him up. Oh, and then I got a pair of these. They are so cute. Look at this pair absolutely love them with the green eyes so much fun i love the siamese kitties and these are black with green eyes they're so cute um i yeah so those are very mid-century um looking i picked them up and then mom got this she hangs these mirrors on her bathroom wall. Um, she does a gallery wall in her bathroom with a bunch of different hand mirrors. All right, that's all for that fact number one. A <laughs> hundred more to go. Okay, so then, oh, okay, these are the good, this is a good sack. All right picked up this beautiful beautiful swung vase this is just one 
one of them that I picked up. Absolutely love, love, love this. Um, I don't know if this is Viking. I think this might be. I don't know if it's Viking or Ellie Smith. I, I need to do a little bit more research. I collect swung vases, but I don't really care who the makers are on mine. Um, so I just never really paid attention, but it's gorgeous. So I don't know <clears throat> which swung vases. I have quite a few, so that one I actually might sell. And then I found a fairy lamp in the box. Still brand new in the box. Wrapped up. How amazing. How awesome is that? So, yeah, that was a really, really fun find. They used to call them courting lights. Oh, how romantic. And then, I don't, I think I bought this without, I don't think this one had a lid. I'm pretty sure. This is just like this. Absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Love this for fall colors. So, so pretty. I picked up that piece. I picked up a lot of glass this time, you guys. I was able to get a lot of glass, which was amazing because the last few times at the flea market, all the glass has been pretty expensive. And then I think this one might be mom's. Or maybe it's mine. I can't remember. I'll, I think this is mine, actually. <coughs> this cute ceramic pumpkin. And the lid comes off. And you can put a candle in there. It's already got a little bit of wax at the bottom of it. <laughs> but it, I thought that was a really fun piece. Um, this was made in 1980. So this is older than I am. But it is a really fun ceramic pumpkin. Very kitschy looking. And then I picked up this cute little skunk wall pocket. Absolutely adorable. It is marked, um, or numbered, rather, on the back. I don't know if it's left in or what, but how cute would that be with a little air plant and hanging on your wall? Or you can sit it flat. You can either hang it, see, you can hang it on your wall, or you can sit it flat on a shelf. So, cute little skunky. Mom got a little um, mushroom, a little ceramic mushroom. I picked up this cute little um, candy container from Fun World. So I love these little plastic um, vintage Halloween pieces. Picked up that. Um. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful fit and piece I picked up. Absolutely gorgeous and stunning. I love it. No chips or cracks. No, I don't think there's any chips or cracks on any of the glass that I picked up. But that is so pretty. I love the colors. I don't know why the light. There we go. Can you guys see how beautiful it is? You can see through there. Stunning. Everything is getting unwrapped with you guys. So fun. Like buying it all over again. Oh, and then mom got these. I don't know. Is there another one? Maybe she only just got one. Maybe she only just got one. So. That. Mom picked up some CDs. She picked uh, Billy Joel, Charlie Daniels Band, Roy Orbison, Traveling Wilburys, and Dirty Dancing Soundtrack. Yeah, that's an amazing one. So Mom picked up some CDs for herself. She picked up this cute, cute, cute little... Um, 
trinket dish. It does have a couple little where the paint has came off. They're not chips. It's just a little paint loss right there. But she picked it up because look, it's a little puppy with a fly on its nose. <laughs> How adorable is that little dish? So cute. And then I picked up this cute set. I don't know if it's made out of it's made to look like wood, but it's like some sort of, maybe it's plastic. I don't know. I'll have to do a little bit more research on this set, but it's a squirrel, mama squirrel with her baby squirrels. And they have jeweled eyes, you guys. They're so cute. Look at their jeweled eyes. <laughs> oh, I love it. Cute little set right there. Then I picked up this beautiful, beautiful carnival glass candy dish. So pretty. I love this. It's like the oil slick. So here's the dish and here's the lid. Absolutely stunning, right? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that pattern on there. So pretty. There's no chips or cracks on it. There's the bottom. It's blue glass with the Art Carnival oil slick. I love that thing. I like the oil slicky Carnival glass. It's so pretty. Okay, so moving on to another sack. Mom got this. She likes the old um, medical bottles, so she picked up that. I picked up this. <laughs> I love this. This is one of the pieces I don't know. I haven't yet decided if I'm going to keep or sell. Um, it's a metal vintage clock, and I just find it hilarious. And... Nuts, another day. And it's made in the USA. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to keep that clock or sell it yet. I'll probably end up selling it. Because I really don't have the room to keep a whole lot of stuff. This piece is heavy. Oh, there's something inside it. It's like wrapped up in a in a <laughs> in a wrapper. Oh yeah, then I got this beautiful turtle. It's so pretty. Absolutely love it. No chips or cracks. Look at all the like millefiore in there. So pretty. Sea turtle. I love art glass. And then this piece is so pretty too. Look at this. I've never seen a glass. I don't know who the maker is. It's so pretty. It's a little dusty on the inside. But isn't that absolutely gorgeous? That rainbow. It's like frosted glass with all the different colors of the rainbow in there. So pretty. Absolutely stunning. I love this piece. <laughs> I love everything. And then I got this piece, beautiful, another beautiful piece of glass. So I just told you that I like the oil slick carnival glass. And look at this beautiful hint glass hit on a nest. Isn't that so pretty? I love the color. Ooh, careful, Missy. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm not for sure if this one's Indiana glass. It looks like the Indiana glass mold. There we go. <laughs> but isn't that so pretty? So pretty. And 
And then I picked up an orange bell. I love these. I love the color. Perfect for fall decor. Just sit out in your display. And then I picked up a whole sack of vintage Halloween. This vintage Halloween flashlight. These candy contain, or not candy containers, just little um, vintage Halloween things. I have one already that I got from the Almost Free Shop here in town. But their little heads pop up. Aren't they so cute? And they squeak. This one, it's, oh, it's marked on the bottom and I can't read it. I can't read that one. Here's this one. So cute. Oh, they're so fun. This one is made in Hong Kong. And then this one. <laughs> they're so cute. And this one I can't read either. So, and like I said, I already have another one. So I will probably end up selling these in my next live sale as choice. And it's choice of four. You can have any of them. Oh, and then my mom picked up a black glass flower frog. Okay, probably do one more sack and then uh, split it into two videos because it's going to be a very long haul video. Oh, then I picked up this set. This is a fun set. This is actually a really good set. It is a mama. Absolutely adorable. Ew, I wish it still had its original label on there because I can't remember if these are left in or, but it's, it's a mama and some babies. So there's these, that one, that one. And I think that there was one more. Yeah. How adorable, that is a good set, right? That set, so that set of four here. And then, A very cute, adorable, like sugared or spaghetti, whatever you like to call it, that textured poodle. So stinking cute. Absolutely love it. Very, very kitschy and adorable. So yes. All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to do it for this part of the haul. Um... Well, let's actually, let me just show you a couple. I still got quite a bit. So let's do one more sack. Let's just keep going with one more sack. I picked up a cute, cute, cute uh, glass bluebird. I don't know if this one's signed. I don't think so, but it is so cute. Love the glass bluebird. I picked up a vintage bangle. I love the bangles, so picked up that. I like bracelets, even though I never wear them. I just have them. I picked up a cute, cute, cute glass fish, art glass fishy. know if this is like well I know it's not Murano but it's it's got a little bit of a rough spot from the mold right there it needs filed down it's 
that piece of glass and you smile down, they didn't do a very good job. But he's still cute to sit on a shelf, right? Absolutely adorable. I love his eyes. So that glass fishy. Mom picked up that cute little, what is it, a restaurant butter pat type plate? I don't know. I think that's cute. I picked up this cute little box of chalk. I think that would be adorable just to sit in someone's display. I like the rocket. It is double-sided. I'm going to have to get this sticker off very, very, very carefully. I think I can do it without having to use a blow dryer because they just stuck it on there very lightly. And voila. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So that is a cute little vintage chalk box. And then mom picked up vintage soap. She likes the vintage advertising pieces, so she picked up that vintage platter soap. Mom picked up this cute little frame, this cute little picture, boy in a frame. She likes those little pictures. And then she picked up that cutie pie. Oh. Absolutely adorable. It's got a little hat. <laughs> so cute. And this is a Joseph original. A Joseph original. I like that piece. I didn't even, I don't remember where she got that, but I probably would have picked it up if I would have seen it. And then, oh, this is my piece. So this is probably going to be the last thing that I show you guys. And then I'll do part two of the haul video. This is amazing. This is mine. Um, I got this for myself. I'm going to redo my gallery wall. Yes, I'm going to keep my Pink Panther, but I'm going to move him um, over to a different wall because I'm going to get a frame for this. And I don't think my hair is dirty. Um, I'm going to put this in a frame. It's like paper, like fabric material not paper it's fabric it's like a fabric i love 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 this so fun so i need to just lay it out and measure it and get a really cute frame for it and i don't really care what color it is because i can paint the frame any color probably i'll do it that orange that burnt orange um, just to make it pop on my gallery wall, but I love, or maybe the teal blue. I haven't decided, but I love it. I love, love, love this one. So isn't it so stinking kitschy and cute? That is going to go on my gallery wall. I thought that was such a fun, fun thing. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for part one of this haul. Um, so stay, make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's part two, where I show you the rest of everything I got and what mom got, because we've still got so much stuff to go through so many bags. I am so excited to show you guys and go through it myself because it's just like a new, you know, Christmas all over again, a kid at Christmas time. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel. Um, I really don't like listing. I just would rather sell everything live. So um, if you like the stuff that I find, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button because I have live sales right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, and if you hit the bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos and stuff. So that way you won't miss the sales. 
So thank you guys so much for um, joining me on this adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.